Ready? ready, Coach? We're ready to go. Well, good, good, good opportunity for our guys after Christmas to get back together after a few days of, of rest, and also for our staff, I think, to put our heads together here and you know what, what direction you know are we going to have to take the, this group to start making the positive strides. And uh, I thought we had a really good response in practice the last few days. Um, I think that we got healthier, which clearly helps us. And I thought that we were, you know, for the first time all season, I felt like our activity level defensively made a, made a dent in the game. I felt like, although I look at it and I see Northeastern shooting percentages, you know, being high, I look at their 16 turnovers, I look at our 10 steals and five blocks, and I said that's probably the most active, the most uh, clearly the hardest playing active team that we've had this season on defense and you know we won that game because defensive activity defense to offense we were able to get stops and um, you know I think that some guys stepped up and played better tonight as well but I also thought that flipping around our front court and trimming our perimeter uh, and starting to really kind of work with work with this group and figure out you know who's going to be the solid eight Eight nine, and uh, you got to get on my team. To, you got to get on my train, so to speak, if you're going to be on that eight or nine. And um, I like where we were at today, and just in terms of the intensity, I thought guys played hard. And I thought for the first time all season that, you know, if you watch the game, you know, from a defensive standpoint, from a hustle play standpoint, from a, you know, a togetherness standpoint, I thought that was the best that we we have been. So it was good to finish this one off put a long month, hard month uh, away and um, go to work here as we get ready to, to, to get into A-10 play on Wednesday. Questions? Archie, you, for the first time all year, you get to coach your full team. Yeah. So thoughts on you taking that long and how nice it was to have. Yeah, I mean, you deal with adversity and I think you deal with the ebbs and flows, you roll with the punches as a coach. You don't know what's coming tomorrow. So I think you have to be accustomed to being able to deal with setbacks and whatnot. But um, getting healthier this week, and Joe wasn't really a part of, you know, maybe the game as much, but just getting him back to practice uh, was great. David re-engaging re again here the last seven to ten days has been a, you know, you're optimistic, but you just don't know. You know, he's been gone 11 games, and uh, that's a tough grind. But I think that you could tell today that he's – he doesn't really care, you know, a whole lot about a whole lot. I mean, he just went out and you saw a player, I think, that can do some some really, really, you know, damaging things on both ends of the floor and help our group. Um, and David is one of the better, you know, better guys. And I told you guys he was playing terrific before he went down with the uh, with the, um, the concussion. So being able to be able to finally start to tweak and work with the, the actual lineups and roster that you, you may have dreamed about, so to speak, is good. But uh, there's a lot of work to be done here as we get, you know, ready to attack the league um, in terms of how we're going to have to play. Step in the right direction defensively. We've got to figure out what's going on with a couple guys turning the ball over. And um, we're going to have to go back to the old playbook here and figure out how we can start pounding that ball inside to a couple guys a little bit more. Coach of Providence, you said, you know, maybe 30 minutes that you guys felt that you played good. Those 10 minutes is what hurt you. This game seemed a little different, even when those stretches were happening where you guys weren't as effective defensively or weren't scoring the basketball, only came in about one to three minute stretches. What was the difference in, in tonight and other games? Um, you know, I felt like we were really careless with our play is what kind of messed it up. That's what kind of screwed up the play. It wasn't the defense. Usually as you're watching the game, the other team is continuing to just score easy baskets, get easy second shots. You're fouling because you're not playing hard. And I didn't see a whole lot of that. I saw some real carelessness offensively that I think stole our momentum. The turnovers, some bad plays, and just the end of the day sloppiness offensively allowed them to sort of hang around. It wasn't our defense. I think that was a big difference in tonight's game and in some of our other performances where 
once we started taking care of the ball a little bit better, next thing you know, we could continue to kind of play in a good way. And I also didn't feel that our team lacked the confidence that we've lacked at times in games. And I think that uh, David is a big part of that. He's a, you know, I hate to use the word alpha, but he's clearly our team's most dominant personality. Um, he's experienced. He's also in timeouts, coaching, talking. Before he was standing behind those guys trying to do it. Now he's in the huddle. It's a little easier to listen to him. So, but I thought we had a different approach in our carelessness offensively, sloppiness offensively. That's what felt funny a little bit at times. But I felt like we were in check defensively for the most part. Um, and again, Northeastern, you know, I don't know how many guys they, they ended up not, not having available, but they, they had a couple guys out. They're a good team. Um, but I thought we did a good job. Archie, what does David Green bring to this team moving forward? Did we see today what you have seen in practice? Yeah, yeah. He's a better rebounder than he rebounded today. Um, but the ability to be versatile on defense. He can cover that small guy that sometimes you're having problems with every once in a while. He can move David to the five, where now you have David's natural defensive position a little bit better. He makes us a better defensive team quickly. Offensively, he can, you know, he's, he's that prototype mismatch guy. He can shoot the three, he obviously can put it down, but he can score inside as well. So, you know, those guys, we've had a lot of success in, in recent years with those guys. I think we know how to use them. Um, I don't think by, by any stretch is there any chemistry on offense right now with all of the different people kind of running in and out. But uh, he gives us both ends of the floor. He gives us a piece to the puzzle that we have not had. Archie, uh, the, the better defense today, was, was that because of like a change in the system or, or a change in philosophy, or was it more that you know guys just showed up I think we worked pretty hard at it here coming off the break. Um, and I would say the thing I've been most disappointed if you've been to these press conferences after wins or losses has been our defense. We have not gotten that kind of buy-in, but we're going to get it here moving forward. We're going to get more of it. We're going to get better at it because it's the key to our season. You know, it's really the key to our growth as a program is starting to become the team that can win games with its defense and rebounding and you know, part of its personnel. You know, sometimes you're you're maybe maybe a little bit more limited in how effective you can be, but I think this team can be a good defensive team, and um, you know there's going to be some some real hard days for guys, you know, when you don't bring it on that end of the floor, and we're not playing everybody. We've got to shorten that rotation down. We got to get a group that can get some chemistry in terms of how we're playing. But if you get in the game, you earned it. Uh, Cam hit double figures for the third time. In did he? Four games. <laughs> did. Um, Cam's a good player. And started. Obviously. He's got a. Um, His grip. He's a good player. And he's got a great body and he's got great burst. Um, he can shoot the ball. The thing I'm proud about Cam is he's been there every single day. I mean, he's kind of the same every day. You can yell at him, you can get frustrated with him because he's young, he doesn't grab a rebound or. He wants to bring the ball up the floor and act like no one's around him, and they take it. Those things are going to happen to him. But he, he's gotten a lot better. And I think from an offensive standpoint, he may be our best overall. Crazy as it sounds, he may be our best overall guy right now, being able to do a lot of everything. He can shoot it. He can obviously get to the basket, but he also has shown flashes of being a good playmaker. Um, he's just going to have to go through these battles here the next couple months. But... I think with him and David together as two freshmen starting, I'm proud of both of those guys where they're at right now. I mean, they're both big time contributors to what we're doing. And I see Connor, if he stays with it as well, really having a, a way of helping us because he can really shoot it. He can really, really shoot the ball. But um, Cam's a great kid too. I'm happy for him. He's worked really hard. And um, he's sort of oblivious to it. He's one of those unique guys. And he's like, catch ball, shoot ball. He's fine. You know, catch ball, drive ball. You know, he kind of just, you don't really have to tell him what to do. He's got a great feel. Um, I love where he's at physically. He's working really hard physically to kind of stay strong. But, you know, he's going to have some tough matchups here coming up. But I think he's going to be a special guy for us down the road. Archie, how about the energy from the start of the game today? Did you notice it was there where you wanted it? Yeah, you know, they, they you know, uh, Pr is it Pridgen? Like he's on the scouting report, but I don't think anybody had him penciled in to get nine of their first 
you know, 14 points, 11 points. And those are one-on-one -on -one matchups, physicality. We still have really struggled with some of those physicality matchups. Uh, but I, I was fine with our effort, especially on the ball. I thought we were at the very best that we've been all season long in terms of disruption, being able to get up after the ball. And that's going to be a point of emphasis as we keep moving through. And, um, you know, we're going to have to do a better job of being able to play less small. You know, with Zeke, uh, he's having a hard time in some of these matchups. And uh, we're going to get back, obviously, as we get, get going here with a more physical team. Uh, but got 11 second shots tonight. David had five of them. You know, he had a double-double in 26 minutes, and he hasn't you know, really practiced in three weeks other than a couple days after Christmas. But, uh, yeah, I was happy with our intensity, even though I think the first four minutes of the game was 14-11 or whatever. I was I thought they had earned some tough ones. I thought Pridgen – you know, hit some, some really good individual plays. But, you know, we were really, really concerned about, you know, obviously Doherty. And, um, you know, he had 10 and ten and 3 with no offensive rebounds in this game and four turnovers. And um, I think we did a decent job there because he's a really good player. And uh, they didn't have, you know, one of their shooters. Uh, Turner wasn't in the game today, so it maybe stumped them a little bit. But, yeah, I was happy with uh, – our effort, you know, they shot, they still shot 50% from the floor, but we did some good things. You mentioned Pridgen, uh, Green locked up with him on a, an alternate possession later in the first half. It was good to see. A little, little edginess, right? It was good to see a little bit of scrap and claw and fight. And I think it's the first time all season the officials have said anything to a Rhode Island player about, whoa, back up, you know? <laughs> most, of, mo most of the time they're like, coach, wish your guys would get a little tougher out there, you know? Tonight they had to slow us down a little bit, but now Dave, that's how Dave is. Dave's confrontational in practice. And one thing about him, I think he can really do whether he scores or rebounds, whatever. He's got a, he, we got a guy with a voice. We got a guy that like can get after your own guys, you know. And I think that you know him being engaged at least in the last couple months and staying with the players every single day, whether it's talking to them in practice or on the bench during games, whatever. You know, he could have shut it down as soon as they, you know, they told him three or four weeks ago, hey, you're, you're denied. He could have just, all right, let's pack it up and get ready. For, he's, I mean, I never thought, to be honest with you, 21 minutes he'd play today. I just, as a coach, you, you want him to be perfect. You want him to do this. But sometimes you got to let those guys get out there and just play it out. And I think that's what he did today. All right, folks, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. See you guys.